Hello everyone and welcome. You know, a few months back I did a review of a simple to use and inexpensive gas leak detection pen. I thought that was a really great device to have on hand for safety reasons and a lot of my viewers agreed and really liked that pen. Now since that time I noticed that Top Test has made numerous improvements to that pen that I tested. But I didn't think that the minor improvements that they made were enough to merit making an entirely new video. Well, things have changed and time has passed and today I bring you a vastly improved version of that original gas leak detection pen. This latest gas leak detector has been elevated to the point of being a professional level gas leak detector. Being the gadget nerd that I am, I just had to test this vastly improved gas leak detector and share it with my viewers. So if you've been interested in getting a gas leak detector, in this video I will share with you both my original gas leak detector pen and this new and improved version so you can decide what level of detection is what you're looking for. So stick around as I unbox and share with you my latest leak detector acquisition. Alright guys, so when you unbox this puppy, this is everything you get. Now this is the professional level gas leak detector from Top Test, available on Amazon, link in description below. And before we continue, I should mention when you're watching this video that Top Test is having a sales event going on right now from June 12th until June 30th. So if you're watching this video during that time, you can get some considerable discounts at their website and I'll put a link to everything down below. So check that out and if you want one of their products, go ahead and save yourself some money while you're at it. Now this guy right here retails for $79.99 at the making of this video. But they also have a 10% off discount coupon on their Amazon page making it even cheaper than that. So what do you get when you unbox this guy? Well you get the gas leak detector itself, you get a USB charging cable because it does have an internal battery, you get the manual and you get a nice case to keep it in when you're not using it, keep it nice and safe. This guy comes with a 3 year warranty and only weighs 9 ounces. The dimensions on this guy are very compact, you're looking at 5 inches by 2.5 by 1 inch in thickness. And this guy is powered up by an 800 milliamp rechargeable lithium polymer battery. They do have another version of this guy that is less expensive if you're looking for something cheaper and that does take some AAA batteries instead. Now this guy does have an auto power off function that shuts off after 10 minutes of being left unattended. The runtime on this guy from the full charge is 3.5 hours. This guy can detect gases such as acetone, acetylene, alcohol, ammonia, benzene, butane, ethanol, ethylene oxide, gasoline, hexane, hydrogen, methane, naphtha, natural gas, paint thinner, propane, organic solvents, and sub-refrigerants. So you can literally use this guy even as a Freon detector in case you have a leak somewhere. So it has quite a huge versatility. This guy has a visual and audible alarm and you can turn off the audible alarm if you don't like it and if it bothers you. The audible alarm is 75 decibels and it is modulated to match the gas compensation. In other words, think of it like a Geiger counter. It starts off as small little ticks and the more concentration you have, the louder and faster it gets. The visual indicator on this guy has an 11 bar colored graph indicator and I'll bring you in closer and I'll show you that in a minute and it shows you intensity with that bar graph. It also has a 4 digit display, a numeric display, giving you a much more precise concentration of whatever gas it is that you're finding. This unit also has a selectable detection level of high or low depending on your needs, what you're testing for, and the area that you're working in. The detection level for the gases ranges anywhere from 50 ppm to 10,000 ppm or parts per million. It has a 0.5 second detection response time and it can show ppm parts per million or percent LEL or lower explosive level because some gases do have the potential of exploding when they reach a certain level so this guy will tell you how close you are to that level or if you've already surpassed it. This guy has a 17 inch probe to be able to reach into hard to reach areas like behind stoves or behind water heaters, around propane tanks, tight crawl spaces, blocked access areas and so forth. So this little device is a top level or professional level gas leak detector. It can detect numerous types of gases as I already mentioned. On top of that it has a 4 digit and graph display giving you very detailed level of gas concentration so there's no mistaking what threat level you're dealing with. It can detect gases and leaks at different levels depending on your needs and has a 17 inch probe that can be used to access areas where you would normally not have access to. 
So whether you want to use this as a professional for diagnosing gas leaks, or like me, just as a gadget nerd and you love to have the latest and greatest detection devices available. This is a great device to have on hand for anybody, whether you're a professional or a DIYer, to keep you safe and help you find any leaks around your house, RV, etc. So let's take a little closer look at this guy and see what it can do. All right, guys, let's take a look at the two different gas leak detectors that I have. This is the one that I just got, and this is the one that I got originally and did a review on this guy a few months ago. Now, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail on this guy because I already did a complete review on this guy, and I put up a link in the corner of the video. If you want to go check that out, check out that link. It tells you everything about this guy, and that way you'll know exactly how it works and if you want to get this one or not. Very inexpensive, easy to use, under 20 bucks for this guy, or more expensive, more detail, more information on this guy over here. This is a pen, the sensor is right here, so you basically have to put it in wherever the gas leak is. You can't be too far away, you have to be right on top of it to be able to get in the information. And this guy only has a graph down here at the bottom, no numbers, no anything. It just basically gives you a bar graph, and it tells you the concentration of the gas, and it changes color from green, yellow, or red, depending on the concentration. That's it, not a lot of flexibility, not a lot of information. Like I said, super easy to use, very economical. For the novice, if you don't want a lot of stuff, that's the guy to go with. Now, if you wanna be really well informed, or you wanna use it for professional detecting and so forth, then, you can go to this guy right here. And this guy has a lot of information as I'm gonna show you in just a little bit. Now, I haven't turned it on because I wanted to show you that this guy actually goes through a warm-up process where it tells you exactly when it's ready to go or not. So let me turn it on. And there you see right there, it does a battery check at the beginning to make sure that the battery is okay. And then it does a 30 second warm-up because this guy right here, the tip, the sensor needs to warm up. It uses the same technology as these uh, O2 sensors in your vehicle around the catalytic converter. It is the same basic technology where this guy has to warm up before it's ready to sense things and be calibrated properly. So it goes through a warm up calibration process, all that kind of good stuff. You gotta wait 30 seconds for it to be ready to go. So we're almost there and then I can show you more details about that. Okay, so there you go. So it's lit up, everything's ready to go, and it starts off, it's at zero right now because there's nothing going on. It's a clean environment. You can see the, the bar graph right there, totally green, and it goes up and over, and it goes green, yellow, red, depending on the concentration. And one thing to point out before I forget, when you're charging this guy up and charging up the battery, this bar graph will show you how full your battery level is. So it'll keep cycling up and down, green, yellow, red, green, yellow, red, etc., until it's fully charged, and then it'll have the arc all the way to the other side, telling you that your battery is fully charged. So this actually shows the battery level as well. Now, let me show you a little closer some of the buttons and what they do. Now, the sensitivity right here, a sense would be the sensitivity level right there. You can have it high or low, depending on what you want to do. You can select right here, parts per million, or LEL, like I said previously, depending on exactly what it is that you want to measure. The audible alarm can be turned off. If you don't want to have to hear it, you just shut it off and you don't hear it. That's it. It's gone. The zero button, if you're doing a lot of testing and you want to keep moving from one area to another and you don't want to wait for it to zero itself, you can zero yourself manually. Walk into a room where you have clean air, hit the zero button and start all over and keep on going. And the temperature button right there, because some gases do relate to the temperature around them, how noxious they are, how flammable they are, etc. You can change this to either be centigrade or Fahrenheit, depending on what you want. And it takes them over to flip over and change over to whatever the other one is. It senses the temperature on there. There you see 22 centigrade, that's room temperature. In Fahrenheit, 72, there you go, room temperature. So there you go, very easy to use. And then the probe, as you see, 17 inches long. This guy really stretches out for quite a ways there. And you can use it in a lot of different things. I mean, that's how long this guy is. That is a long probe that you can put it into just about anywhere in case you have trouble seeing exactly what it is that you're doing. So that's very convenient right there. And to turn it off, all you do is hold it. That's it, it's off, it's done but it'll turn itself off when you're not using it. In case you leave it alone for 10 minutes, it'll turn itself off without any trouble at all. 
And these little gadgets, in case you're wondering, they do come in very, very handy. For example, up until now, I've only had this guy, and I've used it in several different occasions to be able to find out exactly what was going on because uh, some different places, I would smell some weird gas and I didn't know what it was. And this little guy has pointed out the problems that I was having. So it comes in very, very handy. This guy will give me a lot more info now, obviously. And some of their other gadgets, like I said, Top Test has a lot of different gadgets, like this one right here. I did a review on this one previously as well. This is a wood moisture meter. And you would think to yourself, well, what does that do? What does it come in handy for? Well, I got it originally for carpentry, and this one has sensors up here that you poke into wood to see what the temperature is, what the moisture content is, all that kind of good stuff, because it does have a temperature reading as well. And uh, it has come in more handy than you would think. And if you're curious about this one as well, I will put up a link in the corner that you can go see the review on this guy if you want to use it for carpentry or any of that kind of stuff. But recently, I had a flood in my house. I had some plumbing problems, and I had a flood. And my hardwood floors got wet. And I have real hardwood floors, not the fake stuff. So I had to dry them out and make sure that they got dried out properly so that they wouldn't get damaged or warped. Well, this guy actually came in very, very handy for that. It actually showed me what areas were still holding moisture and they needed to be dried out more as opposed to other areas. So I just went around and basically just lightly touched the floor with these little probes and it told me what areas still had moisture and needed to be dried out because I didn't want to leave them and have them get damaged, warped, or have mold buildup or possibly even termites. So these little devices do come in very, very handy. You don't realize it until you have them. So let's do a little bit of testing with this guy and see what it can do. All right, guys, so let's do a little bit of testing with this guy and see how it performs. Now, I'm not going to show every single type of gas out there that this guy can detect. I'm just going to show you for proof of concept how this guy performs. So I have one of these little starter pens right here, whatever you want to call them. And I don't know if this has propane or butane in it, something like that. But it should be detectable by this unit right there. So you see I have it turned on. I have it set to parts per million. It's at zero right now because there's nothing going on here. No contaminants whatsoever. Perfectly clean. So I'm going to turn this guy on and turn off the flame so only the gas comes out of it. And then we'll see how this guy detects it. So let's do that. And there you can hear the audible alarm and you can see that it went right off the chart. Totally too much concentration. So then basically I just wave it away, clear it out, and you see that it starts going down. And you can see even though I've waved it away, it still shows a little bit in the air until it slowly goes down. There you go. And that's why I said that sometimes it may be convenient to use that zero button. If you're in a hurry moving from one place to another and you don't want to wait for it to go down on its own, you can just move to a clean room, hit the zero and keep on going to whatever other testing it is that you're doing. So there you go. It shows that it actually works very nicely detecting propane, butane, whatever is inside this little guy right here. And this guy can actually work at detecting uh, automotive exhaust. I was having a fun a moment ago testing this guy with the exhaust of my vehicle. And I'll show you right now how that looks. All right, guys, so in my garage, my shop, I do not have a room above my garage. It's a freestanding garage, so there's nothing above that except the outside air. But what if you had a room up above your garage and you started smelling some weird gases and didn't know what it was? What if your vehicles were leaking up into that room above that? That could be very dangerous and you definitely don't want that. So can this little guy detect uh, gases from a vehicle exhaust? Well, let's go find out.
definitely detect exhaust gas coming out of your vehicle, all the different mixed gases that are coming out of there, that it considers to be dangerous and it'll let you know that you got a problem. All right, so let's talk about some scenarios where having this gas leak detector could come in very, very handy. Now, a few months ago, I had some trouble with my water heater and I had to replace this entire control unit right here at the front, the control unit, some sensors and connections that were under that cover right there. I had to take care of all that repair and I made a video on that. So in case you're wondering, I will put a link in the corner of this video so you can go check that out because uh, these ream water heaters are notorious for this problem. So I had to take care of that. And if you need to walk through on how to replace or repair the sensors on your ream water heater, go check that out. A lot of people have found it very, very useful. I did a complete walkthrough and you can go check that out. Anyway, so after I finished all that repair, I went through with my pen gas leak detector and I make sure that all the connections were done properly and that there were no leaks. And every so often I go back and I check and make sure that there still are no leaks and everything is just fine. So having that little detector on hand comes in very, very handy. So what do I do if I wanted to check the gas line that goes all the way back there, back to where the wall is way back there? Well, I'd have to move all this junk out of here, wouldn't I? Every time I'd have to go through a lot of trouble moving all that junk out of there. And that's all metal, by the way, so that's not flammable. And you see that the water heater is sealed at the bottom, so there's no flames coming out of there. So you don't need to tell me that it's going to catch on fire because it is not. Anyway, so with the old gas detector pin, I would have a hard time. I'd have to move all that stuff out of the way to reach back there. Now, this is my home, so I can do whatever I want. What if you're going to a client's home or a friend's house or somebody else where you don't want to be touching their stuff and moving it around? Well, that's where this little guy comes in really, really handy. With this probe, you can just reach all the way back there. And you can see I can reach all the way back there to where the gas connector is. And it's kind of hard to do with a camera and so forth, but you can reach all the way back there and find out if you have a leak or not without any trouble whatsoever. That's how convenient this long probe is. Same with the dryer. That's my dryer right there. And the connector for the gas is right behind it. Do I want to move the dryer? No. I just reach back there and I can check and see, make sure all the connections are fine right behind it way back there. So this little probe can come in really, really handy. And like I said, I'm just doing it with the camera right now. If I was doing it for real, I could definitely sneak it back in there and get a very good accurate reading if I needed to. So for uh, home inspections and stuff like that, or for yourself to make sure everything is safe and properly working in your property, this is a really convenient little unit to have on hand. All right, guys, there you have it. A review and demonstration of a professional level gas leak detector. I think this gas leak detector from Top Test is a vast improvement over the previous gas leak detector that I tested. This has a very loud audible alarm, a large and easy to read graph and numerical display telling you the exact concentration of the gas in the area that you're testing. It's very sensitive, as you saw, and can test a huge variety of different types of gases. So if you're looking at a very useful gas leak detector for yourself or for professional testing like a home inspector, then I would say that this is a great little device to check out. Check out their Amazon page for complete details. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye for now.